I mean, let's talk about those grease harvest tools uh, real quick. Um, you know, we've got multiple tools depending on the products that you're working with, right? Um, for the, uh, you know, on the single zone, it helps, it enables you to quickly diagnose, monitor, and uh, also optimize those uh, systems. Um, so from a troubleshooting and unit simulation standpoint, uh, these are compatible with, uh, I'm sorry, you can monitor all the data. Like, if, you know, I, I've had some uh, familiarity with using these in the past. You know, being able to see those temperatures, seeing what the units are looking at, uh, gives you various data points. Uh, you may not even have to break out, like, I mean, of course, if the unit's empty, you might need to use your gauges, right? But, um, you, you know, you, you can look at the temperatures, you can look at the uh, the compressor speed, the fan speed, that kind of thing. Um, they also help you uh, uh, troubleshoot uh, error codes, right? Yeah, the one thing that I like about the single zone service tool is, is it is compatible with single zone and multi-zone. But when you're connected to a multi-zone unit for for data monitoring, you're only going to see the indoor information of the indoor unit you're connected to. You'll see all the outdoor unit information, and you'll see if you're connected to circuit A, you're going to see circuit A's indoor information. If you move the wiring over to B, you will see the outdoor unit information and the B indoor unit information. So it does work for both single and multi-zone. The other thing I really like about it is the fact it will simulate. So when you have an E6 air code, you can literally hook up to the, in, the outdoor unit and simulate the indoor unit to see if you get an E6 still or not. And you can also do it using the service tool hook up just to the indoor unit and simulate the outdoor to see if you get an E6 air code. So you can kind of you can quickly determine whether the problem's in the outdoor unit or in the indoor unit and know where to go from there. So the multi-zone tool that one is really only for diagnostics. It doesn't simulate or anything like that, but it is for the multi-zone tools and you will be able to see all the outdoor information and you'll be able to scroll through page to page and see all of the indoor. And then the multi-pro, I, I can't <laughs> begin to tell you how awesome that tool is. The, the right. thing will tell you everything you want to know about that machine. You have full control of the machine. You can debug the machine. James, I'm probably leaving things out. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I'm sorry, but yes, uh, I've had a lot more familiarity with using that because uh, it's the same tool that we use on our uh, VRF commercial systems as well. Um, so yeah, yeah, we've got it. It's a it's an absolute handy tool. Uh, you'll see everything from your DC bus bar voltage. So if you had an error code related to the voltage being produced by the inverter board, it gives you that voltage reading. You don't have to go, you know, poking around trying to find test points. That kind of thing. It gives it to you. Um, it, you know, it gives you the hertz of the system. And on those systems, you know, you can have uh, a whole lot of uh, thermistors, right? You know, temperature sensors. Uh, you've only got so many thermocouples that you can hook up and go measure temperatures and all that. This has got every single data point for the service, or excuse me, for, uh, for those sensors. So you can see all those temperatures simultaneously. Uh, you can see uh, the performance of every indoor unit that's on the system. Um, with that multi-pro service tool, we also have a, a method for connecting uh, anywhere on the D1, D2, or G1, G2 communication line. So if it's raining or cold or too hot outside or you just feel extra sensitive that day or whatever, you can get uh, all of that uh, service information from that service tool inside or out. You know, if you're making fun of me. Well, you know, I mean, I've been there too. Like uh, looking <laughs> at that ladder going... I'll just connect it down here. We'll just figure it out. Uh, still have to go up to the roof at some point anyway, right? But um, you can use that, and uh, it gives you all of the information that you could ever want out of those systems. And it also does the simulate as well, which, uh, you know, has helped us in the past for, for simulating things. If you're if you're thinking that maybe you've got a communication problem because it's a board or something like that, you know, you can prove that it is or it isn't, right, uh, using these tools.